Hello friends, this is Mayuresh Portfore. In the last video, we have seen uh, what are the different staging tables that get populated and the data flow between the different staging tables when we run the SP populate mailing contact store procedure for deliver insight report. In today's video, we are going to see what are the different staging or the data flow when we run the SP populate mailing responses store procedure. Okay, so when you run the SP populate mailing response store procedure, after you run the SP run ID and SP populate mailing contact store procedure, the data flows like uh, firstly, like same as the contact store procedure. Firstly, it checks the UARE mailing batch lock table. And it checks whether the is lock column for the batch type ER is equal to N or Y. If it is N, what it does, it first obtains this lock. It changes this value to Y and it starts processing the store procedure. If it counts that the is lock is Y, then it stops at that moment and it will write a message in the uh, Delta refresh log table that no, the log is still obtained and you cannot run the store procedure. So consider the, uh, the scenario where the log is not present and the store procedure obtains the log and it proceeds further. So the next step is it populates the UARE Delta refresh log table. And in the UARE Delta refresh log table, it will give the name of the store procedure along with along with the message line say the email response data refresh started once the store procedure is started and once the store procedure get completed it again insert an entry saying the email response delta refresh completed so once the sp populate mailing responses store procedure is running and the entry is inserted in this table the next step is it populates the uare process response table so I'm just querying of this table. What it does, it collects the valid responses that needs to be stored in the UR process response table and with the generation flag as Y, region flag as Y initially. Once the process is completed, it again sets the region flag value to N. After it process, the URI LP link response and URI mailing link response tables. So I will just give a short definition of what the table means. When I say UARE process response tables, what it does, this table tracks. So this table tracks the batch jobs that has been run to collect the response data. So initially, the value for the generation flag will be Y. And once the response is processed, when we say response is processed, it means that the UARE LP link, URI mailing link response tables are getting populated. So when we say that URE LP link response and URE mailing link response tables get populated, this value will be set to N, which means that the data processing has been completed. So what are these two tables? These two tables like URE LP link response table consolidates the response data for the mailing for the hosted landing pages. So when you have defined your hosted landing pages, this table will store that data for the host responses that are stored for the hosted landing pages say external links in the individual emails then this response will be stored in the uare mailing link response table so these are two response tables separate response tables that deliver insight report uses one is for external links and one is for the hosted landing pages so once this is completed then the data is written in uare delta refresh log tables let's go to the table so uare delta refresh log table is populated and it says that email, it says that email response delta refresh has been completed successfully. So I will just query on these two tables just to show you how the data looks like in this table. So if you query on the URE LP link response tables, this is the structure of these tables and this is like the data, the container ID and the other landing pages information. 
and when I query on URI mailing link response table, you can see the structure is same, but it has like uh, the different columns and the cell code container IDs, the URI index, the URI display name, etc. So consider that the store procedure has been completed. The RAS table that it updates is URI run log table. What it stores in URI run log table is whether the batch has been completed or not. It's like same as the URI delta refresh log table, but it's just a single liner statement for this, the run ID and for email response, it will show that, okay, email response, the block is N and the start time and the end time when it gets completed. That's it from the today's session. Thank you.